Hey guys, I have a haul to share with you all today. This is a small haul. Um, I had gotten two two packages in today. Uh, oh, and I'll show you something else I got. I forgot to share. I'm sorry for the wrinkling. Oh, I got some that's not in the package. I purchased some of this um, birch grain ribbon. Well, it's paper. I don't know if it's paper. It's got a weird texture to it. Um from somebody who was selling it in a Facebook group. And this actually was part of the Paper Tray Ink uh, add-on trimmings kit for the Wonderland kit. I did not purchase the add-on trimmings kit because I didn't think I'd use all of the stuff in it because I had a lot of that stuff already in my stash. But this is something that I didn't have. And it's kind of interesting texture. I've seen ribbon like this before, quote unquote ribbon. This is made from some sort of paper product and it's printed with the birch design on it, but you can like, I don't want to do this to the whole piece. Maybe I don't want to do it at all, but you can actually like split it. Like if you split it up here, you can tear it and it will tear evenly all the way down the length of the ribbon. So it's got some sort of weird um, way it's made, but I purchased a bunch of this stuff to use on my cloches. I've got one here somewhere, or I did. <laughs> um, these cloches I got from AC Moore. I was going to use this around the bottom of some of them. You could really use it on anything because you could make it, but you could see that it's the same exact like width on that ribbon. Isn't that cool? So it makes it look like it has a wood grain. And you can just use a sticky dot to go around. So it looks like the base is made from wood. Cool, huh? Anyway, um, playing with that. The uh, the haul that I got in today in the mail is, um, I'm going to blame this one on Amador <laughs> and partly Jill because Jill keeps showing this really cool two layer candy cane die that she has um, from Lifestyle Crafts. And of course, Lifestyle Crafts is no more. It got bought by We Are Memory Keepers, which is American Crafts. And they don't sell the die. The die is retired. So I went looking for one that's two layers to cut, you know, the solid colored piece and then the, the one with the stripes. So this is a pretty good size die. Um, I bought this off of Create and Craft. Um, so it does come from the UK. So I did wait for probably a week and a half to get this. The size of the, the um, candy cane is three and a half inches tall by one and one, two, three, four, almost one and a half. So um, it's a good size. Uh, I don't know how that compares to the die that Jill has. Jill has one that has a tag on it, like a little loop, but you can always just punch a hole, right? Um, so that's a good size. And then I didn't realize, of course, that um, when I was messaging with Amador, there would be another one that he found and I would, you know, I ordered it from the Frantic Stamper um, because it was a different type of stripe. This is like that vintage stripe candy cane. Um, this is even smaller. It is 1.47 inches by 3.5 um, and it's two layers as well. But you could see in comparison to the other die that it is smaller. So both of them are pretty good for cards and tags or projects. And um, that's what originally got me to the Frantic Stamper and then I ended up ordering more stuff with more candy canes. So this first one is from D's Distinctively Dyes. I had no idea. I've never seen this um, maker before but apparently it's made in the USA even though the distributor is a product of Canada. So there you go. Uh, and then I ordered these um, little cardinal dies. And I wanted a cardinal that was smaller than the one I'd used on a card I shared. These are definitely smaller. Look how tiny they are from Impression Obsession. And they're all in different positions. So that's another thing that's nice. And you can cut them all in one pass because they're all hooked together. So you can cut a bunch of cardinals all at one time. So then I saw this die, which I was like, ooh, I have to have this because, well, actually... It all started with another die, which was this one. 
I wanted this for this big um, candy cane stripe looking piece on this on this outer ring here. The outer ring is stitched and it's it's a uh, a little shy of five and a half by so this is probably a two size yes uh no actually it's larger than that no it'll probably cut four and a quarter so this outer die right here is going to be stitched and it's a two size so a card front and then the little candy cane stripe um that gets that's separate is a little bit smaller than that and there's an even smaller mat right here so I wanted this die and then when I saw this die it has a candy cane layer too so this cuts a two layer candy cane and that candy cane is tiny uh, it's really cute um, it's one it's about one inch by uh, a little more than is it a half an inch about a half an inch and then it's got all these other cute things to decorate the little guy here. Look at the buttons in this little gingerbread man. I've got this gingerbread thing on the brain too. Um, this says tis the season right here. And there's some buttons you can swap in for the um, heart buttons there. Really cute. I'm not sure. That might be gumdrops. But anyway, um, I saw this die and then I saw this one. I was like, oh, I have to have both of them. So that one in my cart... Um, because this makes a um, two-dimensional gingerbread house, which, of course, I don't have one of those. No, I do. I do have one. Um, but the little gingerbread man is in proportion to the house. So that's the reason why I got it, because I saw the two together on a card. I don't know what's the deal with the lemon slices. But um, it's got a little peppermint. Cute stuff. Little, um, what are these gumdrops um some holly that'll cut all in one pass pretty cool huh um then of course i was like wait a minute there's a 3d project that they're showing so i went looking <laughs> for the rooftop this is the matching rooftop to make the project 3d so you just have to you know cut additional size for it but this would be the rooftop for it that fits to it so i got all those and then i added also this this die. This is a um, mistletoe die. Um, so it cuts both the, the three different size um, leaves and then the little white. Is it flowers or berries? I don't know which ones. What do they call them? Anyway, here is here it is. Here's the die. So it's a pretty good size. They even have another one that's a smaller size than this. But I just picked up this one because I thought this would be useful. So that's my haul. And thanks for watching. Bye.